welcome to android tutorial and today we are we are discussing about google firebase cloud messaging and the topic previous session i just explained that the syncing data between mysql database and escalate database then now we are going to see how to code for it and this is what i explained in previous session so whenever there is a movie released and it sends the data to message to cloud cloud and cloud sends to all users and user have a whenever a say book ticket and this will be updated in the server and sends back the updated data so this small piece of requirement so if you follow this and uh, if you develop the app like this then the data always in sync with the web server and escalate so now we are going to see this so whenever there is a change in web server data it sends to the cloud whenever there is a change related whenever the app can book ticket that means there is a there should be updated in the server then send back the updated data so this loop always like this and it's always will be seen so we are going to code for it first i need to have escalate database in android app i quickly go through that because i have explained in very in detail in the escalate sessions so i have created the my movies database class in that inner class is sqlite open helper this parameters i am passing here database name and contest and database version this is passed to escalate open helper and when first time it creates when first time it calls reader or writable database it creates the on create it calls and it creates the table by the statement this table have a movie table it has the movie name movie long ways and movie available tickets so when you when you want to read database call the open readable database when there are want to write database and open writable database and these are queries when i want to list the then to get the all movies data from the table and this query written there here and the pass the parameter from the content provider and this is insert and this is update so these are all explained in escalate session so next for this i'm using cursor loader so that always the adapt view always get updated when the, there is a change in the database so for that cursor loader we need to always comes through the content provider so content provider coded for it this is all in detail explained in the content provider session so i'm briefly explaining here this is the root node we need to create a node and depends on the node we give data to the clients of content provider and then once that is in this requirement am when user installs the app and taking the data is already exist in the movie ticket app that server so i am taking the data at a time so i am using bulk insert to update the database so that is called bulk ins bulk insert and this bulk insert we pass the content values objects and if i have a 20 records and 20 content values objects will be put in the array and then passed to here and then read the content values and updates the database when there is a update we need to notify to the cursor loader so i am notifying it here then there is a delete delete i am not implemented in this requirement i am taking over only small piece of requirement so delete i have not taken and then insert whenever the movie is released and uh, that server will sends the message to cloud and cloud sends to message to user so that user will call this 
and that message we received to the fire as discussed in previous session this firebase cloud message service will uh, receive that message and that message will call that service will call this inset and then insert it into the table and when inset it has to be notified to the content observer of the cursor loader so that is it will update in the cursor loader gives the latest results and adapter view refreshed and uh, this is when there is a list of movies and we call this query if we want to display the all movies on the screen we call this query and that URI we will be passed here this is the URI and this node is 1 and this is a square light authority of the content provider these are all discussed in the previous session and then this will give the list of the movies and that cursor will be written to the cursor loader and the cursor loader will set the on load finish it set the data on the view so that is this set of set notification URI it's it notifies the first content loader of the cursor loader so that whenever there is a change and it, it re queries that it calls this query again and then it takes the updated data and whenever there is a book ticket and this book ticket will be sent to the web server and web server gives us the gives us that latest available tickets after the after updating the available tickets over there and uh, that tickets we update here so that both will have the same data server and escalate database so I am updating here so that it will be I am notifying the cursor so it will be refreshed in the list view notifying the cursor node so this is content uh, content provider so that is fine now come back to the requirement now user install the app we get the token id fine and we that is we seen in previous session now we need to when user install the app we need to get the data from the existing data of that book movie ticket from the server so, so where i can do i can do in firebase instant id service here it executes only once when user installs when user installs and then the connection make a connection to the cloud and send token id that is registered in the cloud then i have to take the existing data in the app web server so i'm coding here get all movies data from server it only executes once while installs so in this i'm calling get all movies url that means get all movies php let's explain the what i coded here in this get all movies php in this movie table this movies table will have the list of the movies at corresponding days of the long ways and available tickets it gets this query gets all the records and that query is that query passed to the mysql query and connection and then mysql query this connection will have the mysql connection statement will have the host and the username password and database and it gives the result and that result i'll fetch it each record i create a json data here the data is should be in the array in array is objects each movie is a one json object that is movie name and the value and this is this is not required I'm deleting it somewhere it is coded yeah 
then this is movie name and movie long ways and available tickets this is the key value pairs in the one object that is in this object zero object we have these three fields when you have a second one in first json array in first element again it will have a three elements and then these all this array name is called list so when json object the array name is list then json array so i will show you how the data looks see here this is the data where when it calls get all movies dot php this data will be generated this will be reading in android app see here json object and array this is array the array name is list this array has got the objects see this is one object up to this is one object like this each movie one object like this we have so many objects this are going to read it in android app so we got the response json data here and uh, next is json object and then json array so json object and json array it gives the json array and this is the array we need to read the data one by one for that we put in the loop up to the json array length and then see here json array and again what it has again it has the json object so first element is again json object second element json object so first element and get string movie name movie long ways and ticket available so for each record i need to have the content values because this bulk inside so i am creating the array of content values here and i define the array here this is content values and then i have created the array the size of array length then each content value have a object of content values and i i insert it put column name and value i am calling bulk insert when it comes to the content provider bulk in, insert this is and i read the data of that content value array and then each object each element will have the content values object so i'm getting that values i'm passing to the in, insert movie table there this values will be a parameter see this each object i'm passing and inserting then i notify the cursor and it it notifies the content observer of cursor and also force load content observer so that the list view will automatically refreshed and that's it now we got the data this data here we got the movie list here for that we need to have a movie list on this for that i'm coding view pause view page now in dsql database we have the data of the movie name now we need to display it on the screen how i am displaying first tab english movies second tab hindi movies third tab is telugu movies that is view page when english movies pressed all movies has to be displayed and hindi 
all movies telugu and all movies respectively that we are going to see in next session